Welcome back to the we are. Hi, we're live. Um, I just want to make sure you were on before I continue. <laughs> so this is the third and final installment of our serendipity so long. If uh, you haven't been following along before, I'm Nellie Wood, the marketing director for Timeless Treasures, and I'm on with Tony Steer and Jenny Fultz from Wing and a Prayer Design. Um, it's been great. Hey, it's been great to see all the beautiful layouts and projects and fabric selections for this project. I love how different each one looks. Don't, don't you, Tony and Jenny? They just look so different. And all these yes, different yeah. yeah. And that's really the, it's the great thing about this pattern. Um, it's how it, as I said, it's how it got its name is because it's really such a great contrast. I mean, you could use pink and blue. It doesn't have to be light and dark. They just have to contrast in your fabric collections. And then we've got two different layouts from what Jen and I have been working on and then the original quilt that we did with it. Um, it, it just, it's such a fun quilt because we all as quilters have that um, abundance of fat quarters unless we've sewn them up into masks lately. <laughs> um, <laughs> but um, it's, that's why it's just such a fun quilt. And we hope that everybody that's joined us um, just enjoys this pattern and uses it lots, lots and lots. And I know someone who's really enjoyed it, um, our director, Adir Stella. She's been making her own version. And if you want to see that version, you can see it on Instagram at Dear Stella Fab. And that's Dear Stella, F-A-B, one word. Jamie's done an interesting uh, set of blocks with modern fabrics for this and, and very um, fun, bright, um, fun prints. Um, and thank you to everyone who's participated um, in sewing and following along on social media. Really hope this has helped uh, keep you busy and stay creative during these challenging times. Um, you know, we're going to have more on Facebook and Instagram. Tony and Jenny and I were, were working together to come up with more free projects and future sew alongs. So we've got a few fun things in store for you. So we wouldn't want you to miss out. So stay with us on social media. Keep checking in with us. Um, Tony and Jenny are going to share their tips for part three of the sew along. And at the end of their presentation, we're going to, they're going to announce the winner of the giveaway. Uh, <laughs> we used a woo box to randomly select two winners. So we'll announce those winners at the end of this. So ready to go, Tony and Jenny? We are. We we'll, are. we'll get this quilt. <laughs> so we're going to move our chairs and show you the finished quilt with the quilting on it. Um, and this was a 20 block size um, collection. And you're gonna see that it looks really similar. This was a, a, a treat collection from several years ago um, from Tonga Treat. And you can just see blueberry, how- Blueberry coffee, coffee cake. cake. Yeah, yep, that's what it was. It was one of my favorites. And so you can see that our new one done in the Forest Floor and Canyon collection in the neutrals looks very similar to this. So we'll get out of the way and um, show you this quilt here um, as a whole. Yeah. Okay, so here is our original one that we used 20 blocks in, and this one was from an older Tonga um, tree. You can see that we used just the horizontal or the diagonal stripe layout there. Yep, yeah, which is usually called sunlight and shadows or field and furrows. Um, and you can see what how great this was just done with an all over quilting design um, in a feather pattern, uh, which is one of my favorites. My quilters always like, please, no feathers. But you can just see how much dimension and um, great. So it's great with an edge to edge quilting design on it. Um, we used um, just a medium colored thread and, um, and zipped through that. So then on the floor, um, you might have to turn the camera around, Jen, I don't know. Um, we have the, the blocks that we were working on, uh, Jenny's from the new um, Misty or uh, Fantasy Collection. Oh, that's gorgeous. I love it. Isn't those. that pretty? Right. <laughs> you may have to do it, tall oh. woman. <laughs> I may have to do it, tall woman. <laughs> can you see it okay? Or Yeah. Yeah, I think I can get you a little bit higher, maybe. <laughs> can you see the whole thing, Nellie? Uh, a little bit more to the left. My left, your left. Uh, your left. There? Yeah, that's, a, yeah, that's that. Oh, too far. <laughs> we okay. should have got a really that. tall ladder. That's, that's the most thing I can't, but it's still, you can still see the effect. It's gorgeous. 
Yeah, so that's the star layout, which is probably one of my favorites for the 16, if you made 16 blocks. Um, and then not to move too fast, but we'll move over here. And, um, and then this is my collection here. And this one, I maybe don't even need the thing. So this is like the Mountain Peaks yeah. collection. And while I'm doing this, Jen is flipping her blocks. So let me go over there and show you that. So she's flipping the blocks right now. And that's what makes it makes this serendipity. See, she's just seen, uh, oh, flipping the blocks God. to make one of the other layouts. And so here's her final corner then to flip. It's like magic. <laughs> it is. It's a happy accident. Yes. And so then there's another layout in the 16. And I'll stand up here and uh, hopefully be able to see pretty much the whole quilt. Yeah. So then she'll go and flip mine into like fields and furrows, which is the same layout um, that the other one has. And so you can see there's the top row starting to form. So isn't that fun, Nellie? I, I think this is, you know, I like piecing, but I think this is my favorite part of quilt making. <laughs> puzzling out the layout. I, you know, you can nope, do it yep, so many there. different ways. Yeah, and it's really hard when you're sitting that close to it, like Jenny's on top of it, it's harder yeah. than it is when, like me, it's like, no, one more turn, one more, no, 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 other way. <laughs> it's like hot potato, cold potato down here. This is like, this is true Vanna White going to flip off. This is true Vanna White, that's right. <laughs> Can we buy a bow? <laughs> there it is. So isn't that just so much fun? Um, and so on the layout that we gave everybody, um, and I'll go kind of slow if I can, just to remind them, they have their layout page here, which has gotten all dog-eared. But um, so you've seen this layout today from us and the star layout and the fields and furrows. And you can see that fields and furrows will work for any size. And um, this layout works for any size. 16 blocks actually can be done in any any of, any of them mm -hmm. 20 and so when you look at this little uh, row up here this is the this is this row is for like 16 blocks you know 20 blocks 30 blocks 36 so that just goes and of course if they have any questions about that just give us a holler Nellie because we're we're always here for the customers and um, for the shops and customers both um, and then yeah. Jen just wanted to show really quick so remember when you first cut your blocks out you ended up with those um, strips um, that we told you to set aside for the binding. So when we first cut the big fat quarter out, um, you ended up with, pull our page one over here, Jen. Um, so here was, here was our page one. Let's just really fast review that, if that's okay, Nellie. And so yeah. here we cut, and then we set these aside. <laughs> so weird. We set these aside for the binding. And so that's what those strips are. So you'll just take those strips now and cut those down to two and a half inches, uh, line them up and cut them down to two and a half inches, sew them together, and then those will become your binding strips. And so that's what Jen's zipping down there right now to do. And then you just discard that other or you keep it for a little strip piece to one inch um, situation. Or straps for masks. Hey, there we go. <laughs> Here's one for one. St string piece masks. There we go. <laughs> Um, and so that's it. Did we have any questions or anything that um, that that we wanted to do? So I think uh, we had a couple people that uh, had emailed us some questions, and we always love that. And then so then part two was to cut these blocks apart, sew the blocks back together in the um, combination. And the other thing, whoa, not too fast, that I wanted to say is that when you put these blocks back together, you can spend a little bit of time like – um, Jen, you want my pine cone piece that's really prevalent there in that center? Um, you could spend a little bit of time moving a block around there. This one? Yeah. yeah, so you could spend a little time, but eventually you're going to drive yourself to drink to <laughs> try to make sure that you don't have too many pieces come back together. So just, just let the quilt flow at that point. Um, but see how much better just moving that one piece so there'll always be a piece um, either in your dark side or your light, light side that may just be a little bit of a pop fabric. And so you just want to make sure that that's uh, dis distributed in the quilt a little bit more evenly. 
um, on Jen's quilt. Um, it's probably it's that. Yeah. yeah, it's probably that turquoise piece. And you can see then she's got it on outside corners and, um, and how great. So don't worry about pieces coming back together. Like I said, you can turn a block or you can move a block or two, but eventually you just have to say it's scrappy looking and put it back together. Commit to it, right? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, it, you know, it kind of takes the fun out of it, but the best thing to do is just walk away from it, lay it out, walk away and then come back. And then to sew these rows together, um, when you're sewing a quilt together, you always just want to sew from top to bottom, left to right, just like you'd read a book. So left to right, top to bottom, okay? And uh, and that's about it. Yeah, okay. and then when they come back together, I don't really think, other than um, at the connecting seams here, I don't think that things actually have to match, have to match which because, is another which great is really thing. Nice. Here, yeah. let me get close up there so that you can see Jen's... that here's a seam and here's a seam and here's a seam and here's a seam. So there's nothing to match. It's only, the it's only at seams. the corner seams. So that makes it really easy to put together as well. Okay. All right. Um, wow. This looks great. Trying to grab um, my also this is this isn't this doesn't end here. If some of you are just catching this and you've seen you're seeing this for the like first time, winners. you can go back. We've posted the pattern on um, the Timeless Treasures Facebook page right here. And um, you can go back. The pattern's available uh, whenever you're ready for it. And we are going to create a Facebook album of all the works in progress and the finished layouts that you can upload to or we can upload to if you're having technical difficulty. Um, we want to see your makes and we are really excited to see what you make um, during this time. So please contribute to the, to the page and uh, send us your photos. Um, and um, we're, we're here to support you throughout the entire process. Right, Tony and Jenny? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Oh, oh, that doesn't work. <laughs> I was going to, my arm was longer, so I was going <laughs> to go that way. So um, talk. you can't talk yet. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> go in the other room. Your please. producer down there? That's yeah, it's producer. our producer. It is. <laughs> um, um, are we ready to give, give away those fat quarter bundles? So remember, our fat quarter bundles are. Um, 16 fat quarters to do Jenny's version in the purples and teals from the fantasy collection by Wing and a Prayer for Timeless Treasures or the combination of Canyon and Lodge. And so um, the first winner we have is, is Phyllis Carlton or Carlton. It's uh, C-A-R-L-T-O-N. Um, her, her address on Facebook is Carlton Phyllis. So it may be her husband and her um but anyway, um, if you have posted your finished quilt on our site, you are a winner. And then we have, oh, good, a shop, uh, Blue Magic <laughs> Quilts. Yeah. So, uh, well, I think blue should probably have the blue quilt, don't you think? <laughs> and so uh, we'll get those. So they're sending the address to you, Nellie? Or we'll, we'll, we'll get in touch with them. So we'll okay. um, direct message them, and then um, Tony will get those out to you. And we really appreciate everyone participating in this. Um, we're going to have more. Tony and Jenny have so much um, down the pipeline with uh, okay. great projects. So thank you for sharing your time and your expertise. I, I know several people have commented that they've learned so much in just little things like never using pins ever again or how to press <laughs> properly. I mean, these are huge tips that you don't really think about. No one really t writes that into a pattern, right? That says you don't have to use pins if you can feel for the seams and all these wonderful things that um, Tony and Jenny were able to share with us while we're at home and to continue learning and to continue making. So again, um, let us know and um, share. And we are so happy to be here for you. And we'll see you soon. Yeah, yeah. Nellie, one other thing is that um, so the videos got kind of long. And so Jen had set us up a YouTube page so that we could post the whole video on it. And we'll be adding some of those just single tips like uh, finger pinning and, um, you know, ruler using or big squares or whatever, just to kind of help the customers through this where um, it's harder for them to get into their shops and see their um, their shop owners to answer those questions. So if there's sure. something that, uh, that the customers want to see from us, please um, send us an email, uh, tag Timeless in an email, 
so that we can be sure that we're giving you guys the content that you need. Absolutely. And yes, we also have a timeless Facebook, I mean, timeless YouTube page too. Yeah. So we're yeah. going to be wanting more content on that. I love that you guys have a YouTube page. So you can find it any from either our pages or from the Wing and a Prayer yeah. pages. Um, no reason not great. to make it. <laughs> well, I mean, if you, these are, this is um, sort of, if you've liked the instructions that you found in this pattern, that is very typical of Wing and a Prayer patterns. The block of the month programs are very similar in that structure where everything is so well laid out. It's There's nothing confusing. The cutting instructions are clear. And then you step through the pattern. And it's as if Tony and Jenny are right behind you and <laughs> telling you how to get through the next steps. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if I want that every day. But, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, the, but they're great think. teachers. Um, and the patterns themselves are also great teachers. So. I highly encourage you to check out some of those block of the month programs um, and see uh, some, some of the beautiful quilts out of that. We have lots of new ones coming out. So yes. everybody stay healthy and get ready to, to sew. All right. <laughs> thanks, everybody. See you now. All yeah. right. Bye. Thank you.